Welcome to Ready Tape, and today on film, we got a dog. We got a dog, fifth round pick, Nate Hobbs. Dude, he came into the preseason, jumped into that slot position, and ever since then just hit the ground running, took over, and hasn't looked back since. He is the steal of the draft. Also, I would say he is a fan favorite of amongst the Raider Nation. So I had to drop this film study. I had to go ahead and look at what he's done so far in the regular season. We're almost a quarter of the way through. We're on week three, about to approach week four against the Los Angeles Chargers. And we played them Monday Night Football. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does that game because I'm sure they're going to air it out a lot more. They don't have a prominent run game. Their running back is basically a, a catching back. It's going to be interesting to see what he does in that game. But let's go ahead and take a look at what he's done so far before i jump into that make sure y'all add me on instagram and twitter at ready to take and make sure y'all hit that like button and if you're new here hit the sub button if you want to see more videos just like this so without further ado let's ready to take So on this first play right out the gate, this is going to be a play action pass. You see Nate Hobbs in the slot. He's going to be in the slot every single time, as we know. Jonathan Abram brings the heat off the side. And on these first few plays, I'm going to go over some passing plays, some passing situations, just to see his reaction time, how he does. Um, one of them might be man, the other might be zone. There's a lot of screen plays, a lot of him around the line of scrimmage playing, um, getting into that tackling mode. But right here, you'll see he's in the slot. Let's go ahead and let the play roll. And some interesting things I've seen is that he was given some kind of given an outside angle to it, had his hips open to the outside, and the receiver ends up going to the inside. Tough play to really get on because, of course, it's play action. The receiver's running across the field. It's hard to chase a guy down like that. And Abram's got to make that tackle. Jonathan Abram has to make that tackle, and that's what's going to make Abram go to that very next step. Although I think Abram is playing very well, I think if he makes tackles like that, it's just going to take him to that next level. But let's go ahead and see Hobbs. And you can see Hobbs just angled his body to the outside. And it's I'm not sure why he's doing that. Maybe he just wanted that leverage because he was di just thinking, diagnosing the play, saying, hey, he might go outside. Let me get that advantage. And you can see he's pretty much open to the outside. Now he's starting to flip to the inside once he sees the receiver make his break. And at that point, it's kind of too late, especially when Jacoby Brissett breaks the tackle and runs that way as well. So a lot of things had to go right for this play to happen. I think it was a good play drawn up by Gus Bradley, actually drawn up very perfectly. You see Abrams come off the edge right there, missed the tackle. I believe that's Littleton in his face, and then Hobbs comes up. And you'll see he claps his hands, kind of not really in frustration, just to say, hey, I could have made a play right there. Let's go on to the next one. Because there's really not too many pass plays that he really give that he was giving up or um that you would really see on film, I would say. But let's go ahead and go on to this next one. And you'll see he's at the bottom of your screen right there in the slot. Right there is a play action again. Coming around, and that's Juju Smith Schuster. That's a good tackle. Open field, play off the play action pass. So he had his guy. There it is. Good break. Good focus, good play recognition, and good pursuit. So everything you would want in your slot corner, he had made a way to get to Juju Smith-Schuster. Let's go on to the next play. Here we go again. We have Pittsburgh Steelers, and I believe you'll see he's at the top of your screen in the slot this time. We're in a zone coverage. So just watch him and see how he passes off the players and how he continues to be fluid in his coverage, keeping his eyes on where the quarterback is looking. Passes his player off there. He's waiting, he's being patient, he's keeping eyes in the backfield. And although he doesn't make a play here, I just like how he was continuing to watch the quarterback and stay in his zone and be disciplined. You don't get too much from this angle, but you can see there, you can see there he's right in, in your picture, right to the very left. You can't, uh, right to the very left, I don't even make, sounds weird. He's to the left of your screen. And Ben Roethlisberger, of course, he lets this ball go. He's trying to make a play. And right there, he tries to make a play. He ends up dropping the pass. Mullen is there. Hobbs really isn't there too much. But I liked how he transitioned from passing that guy off and then going underneath to pick that guy up so Ben Roethlisberger doesn't make that throw. He ends up forcing it further downfield, and it 
becomes an incomplete pass at the end of the day. And that wasn't Molin, that was Mirig. Good job by Mirig. Rookie on rookie, two rookies in coverage there. That's beautiful. Good coaching by Gus Bradley. Shout out Bradley for that right there. Okay, here again, Hobbs at the top of your screen in the slot. Let's see what we got. He's creeping, he's looking. Okay, this right here, he ends up getting held. That's why I threw this one in here. Because you're gonna see throughout this, he is playing the screens a lot. He is basically another linebacker out there, maybe another Jonathan Abrams, if I could say. You'll see he gets held by Juju Smith-Schuster and they throw the flag, which is a beautiful thing because he's a menace around the line of scrimmage. He's a menace. I'm pretty sure this time you'll see it again. Here it is, but this time he takes the inside. And I think he's learning, he's learning. And that's okay because the receiver ends up going to the outside and picking up a little bit more yards. He got to understand his containment, and I think he does. I think he was just trying to make a play on this one, and he almost did. He almost did. We had about three guys miss a tackle on that, so you can't just put it all on him. Where is his help? On to the next play against the Miami Dolphins. Play action pass. This is so beautiful. Look at where he is at the bottom of your screen in the slot position. He got about two guys around him. One has definitely put a body on him, but you'll see, boom. Let's get around that. Let's make a tackle and let's finish the play right here. And that's how you get it done. That shows that he knows how to do it. He's learned. He understands what's going on. He showed it against Pittsburgh. He's shown it here against the Dolphins. He gets around that lineman. That was a lineman. Number 74 is a lineman. We can go back. We can look again. That's a beautiful play. And you'll see that is the offensive tackle. That is the offensive tackle right there to the left of your screen, furthest lineman on the line of scrimmage. Watch 7-4, go up, he looks for Hobbs. Hobbs splits the lineman, gets upfield, gets Waddle for the tackle in the backfield. Rookie on rookie crime, get the job done. That's a fifth round draft pick, going up against the first round draft pick in Waddle, straight out of Alabama. You know how they get down with them wide receivers. Good play, let's go on to the next one. Here again, more screw, uh, more down around the line of scrimmage. I thought it was a screen, but it wasn't. He's down around the line of scrimmage once again, making a play, open field tackle. This is why he's going to be prominent in this defense, why he's just going to be a good football player in the NFL in general. Either, either way, he's going to be a good player in the NFL because of stuff like this. Open field tackles. That, that's Will Fuller also. Dude got some speed. He goes up, makes the tackle very clean really have nothing to say about it besides this dude is a sound football player i would like to see him in coverage more like i spoke about earlier against uh, the los angeles chargers they like to pass and we should be able to see him get a lot more burn when it comes to that so i appreciate y'all pulling up i know this one wasn't very long uh, but i just wanted to go over what he's pretty good at what i've been seeing from him a lot i see he's basically to me a He's a slot corner, which is kind of between that corner and safety, uh, free safety. Look, you got to be able to get in there uh, in the trenches, make tackles, do what you got to do and have a body on somebody. And he does that perfectly. So I'm just glad that we're able to see Nate Hobbs excelling fifth round pick still of the draft. And let's go ahead and continue to see what he does for the rest of the year. It's still early. Appreciate y'all pulling up. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments who you guys would like to see more film on. And I'll go ahead and try to put that together. Whoever, Whoever's name, whoever player gets commented the most, I'll probably end up doing. Just wait because I will do Solomon Thomas. So don't put Solomon Thomas because I'm already working on that, y'all. Go ahead and get creative with it. Think about some players, maybe even offensive line, a, a specific uh, rookie, whatever the case may be. But if y'all first time here, make sure you hit the like button. Like I said, add me on Instagram, Twitter. Subscribe if you're first time here. And I appreciate y'all stopping by. Until next time, rate the tape.